This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. Hi, guys. It's Carol Dowd from North Tanawana, New York, again. I've got a follow-up to the last story that I told um, about the poltergeist activity and the black mists in my bathroom and how I yelled at the ghost after he threw some stuff at me. And I was not very nice about it. Well, from that time on, for several months, I um, I felt uncomfortable in my house. And it was just getting worse and worse. And because I, I suffer from mild narcolepsy, my dreams are extremely vivid. And I was having very horrible dreams um, about me being murdered, my husband, uh, two non-existent daughters, because we don't have any kids. So it was just, it was really, really horrible, and they were terribly vivid, and just scared the hell out of me, really. So um, I got kind of sick of it, and uh, instead of addressing myself to whatever it is that lived here, I called my friend up from school, and uh I'll use a uh, fake name since I don't know if he'd want me to use it or not uh, for him and his friend. His friend, um, We'll use Bob and Sally. Uh, I called Bob up um, and he said, sure, I'll come over and sage the house. And can I bring Sally with me? And I said, sure, go ahead. And Sally, it turns out, is an empath and a medium. So, um, they came over on my birthday. It was a birthday present to myself. And uh, they saged the house. And when I told, I started telling the story of what was going on, Sally said, um, gee, I just heard a sigh coming from the uh, top of the cellar stairs. And I said, what did it sound like? And she, she just said, oh, I don't know if you got that or not. But um, it sounded, I, I said, oh, it sounds exactly like something I'd hear. Here we go again. Oh, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, so I, I told him the story. I told him of my experiences and things that had happened. She didn't um, like it that none of the stuff in our house was new. It had come from the old house, which was a haunted house. Um, that was the first thing I ever wrote in was about my haunted house that I lived in. So uh, I said, but there's there's really been no problem. We've lived here since 2003, so there really hasn't been any problem until until lately. And she says, well, it is a man, and he is angry about something. She says, I don't know what, but he's he's angry about something. I don't know what he could be angry about. Maybe that I yelled at him or something. I don't know, but you know, don't don't throw shit at me because that's not proper behavior if you're going to exist in my house. So, anyways, um, and don't scare me by being a black mist in my bathroom. Jeez, you know that's just not right. So, um, they saged the house and they put uh, holy water and salt around the doorways. And she said, you might hear, you know, a little bit of activity, but um, she said it should be, everything should be gone and out of here. So um, they left, and uh, <laughs> about three or four hours later after they left, it was about 9 o'clock at night, I hear this enormous, like, banging sort of noise on my back door and it sounded like a body was like thrown against it you know all those those different noises of of different limbs hitting hitting the door as it as it was thrown in so um yeah it was it was just really and I'm like I'm not going out there to find out what the hell that was all I know is I live in a good neighborhood and that kind of thing is not a normal activity so um, I'm just thinking maybe I was trying to get back in and couldn't because of the holy water and the salt. And and so I was apprehensive the very first day afterwards 
um, but I wasn't uncomfortable. I said some prayers and stuff. And uh, so far, there's been nothing going on here, nothing at all. And it's been great. I haven't had any weird uh, nightmares. You know, I still dream vividly, but nothing bad. And uh, so cool. I guess it worked. Um, They said, you know, if there's anything else weird going on, to just call them back and they'll come back and and resage the house. And, I mean, maybe I could have this done on a regular basis or something. I don't know. But anyways, I feel much better about it. So I just thought I'd let you know that uh, that did have a good turnout. Um, kind of bad because it was somebody who's mad at me, but good because now they're gone and they could be mad at me someplace else. So, um, anyways, that's my story. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you again. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, have a good one. Bye. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.